Hey, hey everybody. everybody, welcome, welcome to, to the Hutch Food, Food Adventures. Adventures. Today, we got a first time trying FTT. Yep, yep, FTT. All right, so. And uh, I am gonna be surprising you because I found a new place which that I was excited he about. Also, ate at and didn't want to tell me what it was because it would have ruined this. Exactly. So now I'll finally be able to know what you ate and where you ate. Correct. I was literally just driving around aimlessly trying to figure out what I was going to eat for lunch. And then I was just like, I saw this place and I was like, what? And I had to bust a U-turn and go in there and see what they had going. Go ahead and close your eyes. Close. I'm going to let you do the smell test. Good. It's wow. Smell what do you mean that. it's not? Smell it! It smells good. Really? Yes. What's it smell like? It smells like... Marinated carne asada meat. Really? Mm hmm. Dang, like that? Yeah, I'm ready to get it pop. You know what? Kind of like. Okay, this might be weird. You know, like raw meat, how it smells good? Like raw beef to me. Mm hmm. When it's seasoned, oh, it makes my mouth water. It smells so good. Nice. Like sometimes I wish I was. You like can open your eyes, actually. I wish can I was a just... bear so I could eat it. Yeah. So I can eat raw meat sometimes. That's gross. Well, you can try like tartare. You know, no, they have I beef tartare like, with an egg like on it. Beat and beat, <laughs> bite into someone or something and like. You know, like nature's metal and you see like blood all over the faces. Yeah. That's weird. I just wonder how it tastes. It's, the, <laughs> it's disgusting. It's not that good. It's disgusting. <laughs> you did it say what like it me. Okay, here we go. Bye. Is this cheese? No, that's meat. This is meat? Mm hmm. There's no way. It's like a sausage type of. It's. It looks like little garlic bread slices. You know, I think that one may have garlic in it. So I got, so basically where I went was a German deli. Interesting. This is our old friend, Hoghead Cheese. I was just talking about this the other day. Got one of those, because I could not resist. This is good if you don't get the hard pieces. This is a new one for us. This is um, blood and tongue sausage. This, we got ourselves a little, little buffet right here. This one is... I had like cheese we're not doing because obviously we've done that before. Okay, so this one is, that, this one's Yakwurst and this one's Gelbwurst. So what'd you have, a sandwich? I had a sandwich, I had a Reuben. It was dank. Gelbwurst? That, no, this one's Gelb, or yeah, that one's Gelbwurst. This one's yak worst. So that's the one I just showed you guys. Let's try this one first. Should we grab crackers? No, let's just get to it. Okay. Let's just it's gonna be dang calm. Get, let's just get straight in. Do you want to see? Do you want to know what it's what's in it? I guess. Gelb worst, meaning yellow sausage. Do Is you it? Take this off. Uh, yes. Because this is like writing. Yeah, that's just the lining of the packaging. So it says, uh, Gelbwurst is a yellow sausage in Bavaria, Germany. It's also, it is sometimes referred to as Hernwurst, meaning brain sausage. Brain okay. sausage? Yes. Like it has brain It's in mixed it? with, uh, it's made up from pork, veal, and mixed spices such as ginger and nutmeg. It smells good. It smells good, right? Here. Mm. You haven't tried this before, right? Mm -mm. It's really good. I like it. I like the herbiness in it. Mm -hmm. The green speckles. Wow. You know when you get like chicken and herb or garlic and herb flavored seasoning? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Like it tastes how that smells. Mm -hmm. This is like a high quality like, you know, like the lunch meat, the chicken lunch meats? Mm -hmm. Except it's like a higher quality one that has like herbs in the meat, kind of. It's actually good. It is good. It tastes like how packaged garlic and herb seasoning smells. Wow. Exactly like that. Next, we got Yakwurst. This is a German cooked sausage made of lean pork and beef as well as belly of the pork, salt, pepper, garlic, mustard seed, capiscum, mace, bunch of stuff. 
which makes the sausage juice. Okay. It smells very porky. Do I have to take the lining off of this one too? Yes, you do. But it doesn't look like, this one doesn't look like paper. It's paper. <laughs> Is it? Yes. So it's got a nice translucent chunky thing going on. This one smells more like bologna. Yeah, I was about to say it smells like more meaty than that one to smell like more herby. Mm. Mm. And definitely tastes more meaty. Yeah. Like in that slice that I got, I had like a chunk of like hard meat kind of in it. But it's not as hard as the pieces that you find in hoghead cheese. No. It's like gourmet bologna to me. I was gonna say, I feel like I can fry this up. Right? Put it on some bread with some mustard and call it a gourmet fried bologna sandwich. <laughs> that was pretty good. This is delicious. But I like the first one better. They're very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the herby one better. This one I'm nervous about because I feel like it's going to have little pieces like the hog had cheese did. Oh, it most definitely does. That's why we saved it for last. So we're not going to... We already reviewed the hog head cheese. Yeah, there's no point. Okay. What was this one called again? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Woo wee! You guys. So that's the blood and tongue sausage. And um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Here, well, let's, we're not gonna eat this whole thing. Or no? I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. Let's just okay. split this one. Okay. Well, how are you let's gonna split it? Let's do Lady and the Tramp. Okay, it's very romantic. You ready? Ready? Wait, what's in this one? Oh, you ready? Blood and tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you think these are tongues? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh my God. It's very romantic. It's like we're gonna we're eating the tongue and then we're gonna tongue at the end. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Mmm. It almost reminds me of that Dina Blonde taste. It has a darker flavor, like it's beefier flavor. And that's probably because of the obviously the blood. It's very beefy though. Yeah, like I'm almost not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. But I don't know if I can eat like a, a sandwich it. worth of it, you know? It's like saltier because of the blood, I think. It's not as mild as the others. Yeah. It's definitely a stronger, saltier, bloodier flavor. I'm gonna have to go in the order that we ate them. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. That's my rating. Yours? Wait. Like, in the order that we ate it, that's how I prefer them. Okay. Okay. Mmm. It's hard. Really? They're all so different. They're all so different, but it's like, what do you prefer? Like that herby taste? I really liked that. I did too. And then the bologna taste was like, okay. But it wasn't like, oh my god, this is amazing, but I would prefer that over this, like, bloody taste. That one, I just took so much of it right now, and it literally just tastes like beef stew mixed with blood. Right? <laughs> um, That's what I, I think saying. I'm gonna go in the same order, just because, like, the idea of eating a lot of it... It seems like I could too eat much. A, yeah, I could eat a lot of the herby one. Not as much of the bologna one, and, and like, less of the yeah. bloody one. That's how I felt. But they're delicious. I'm glad we're gonna. I'm gonna have to have you go by, and I was we're gonna. gonna say, I want to get a sandwich. They got all kinds of cool stuff there. Really? All kinds of German stuff. I'm and excited. they got uh, they got a Das Booten. You can buy boots there. Right. But yeah, not too shabby. Well, there you have it, youngsters. Yeah. And oldsters and middlesters. <laughs> if you um, <laughs> eat any of these, let us know how you uh, what you eat them with. Or yeah. if you have any other like special German foods we should try, let us know. Hello to players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. It's been real. Yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. And hit the noti bell. Ding. <laughs> Thanks ding, for watching, ding, everybody. Ding, 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 ding. Another episode ding. of the Hutch ding. food. That's the notification bell. Oh, okay. Adventures. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That was kind of scary. <laughs>